All right, so I'm towards the back of the property. There's still some land through that path. Probably half acre. Towards one acre, maybe. I don't know. Kind of open prairie, but flat land and a lot of trees. Um, I just crossed the creek. Just flowing pretty good. It's rainy season. There's the trail I came through. Here we have desert false indigo which is medicinal it grows wild here you can see it's putting off some seeds we also have clovers and other medicinal plants this is one of my favorites this is plantain and this you can grind up or put straight on a burn not only is it great for burns and it removes toxins out of your body like a uh, bee sting um, an infected tick head this stuff is actually edible with nutrients and so you could add well that's got eggs on it so I'm gonna leave that there um, but you could actually add this as a salad and provide you with vitamins and stuff that you need. There's a slippery elm right there. You got a myrrh honeysuckle, which has no benefit besides being invasive. I try to make rope out of it. Um, the stem does not provide enough fiber to do that. So it's, I've been cutting it down because it's too invasive. We have wild or not wild, but we have black walnut trees growing. Um, they're all over the place. We thought that they were something else, but they're the walnuts. We have a mulberry bush. We have them all over. Unfortunately, the last few years, I've been cutting some of them down. So... Um, I've been making sure that I leave room for them. We also have wild daisies, which are medicinal, um, but only to extent. So I don't really mess with those too much, unless I'm gonna dry them and put them in resin or make something pretty out of them. We have a lot of St. John's wort, which I know you probably heard of. Um, very good for you, good for fevers. Um, it's really pretty with the flowers. The bees love it. This whole field and part of by the road is just full of St. John's wort. Right now, as you can see, the daisies are blooming. So that's pretty much all that you can see at this point. This grass over here, even though it looks boring and whatever um, when the blades get bigger you can actually make baskets out of them or practice making baskets and stuff like that over here we have white clovers which is found all over the land these are medicinal but they're not as medicinal as the red clovers the purple ones uh, but they're still good for you you can add them as a colorful thing in your salads. You can eat the leaves as well. 